Hey everyone, welcome back. As you can tell from the title, I'll be testing out the new Jeffree Star Candy Cotton Queen. Did I say that wrong? Cotton Candy Queen. He did bring out a huge collection of this. I just, however, brought two products out of the collection. I got one of his liquid blushes in the shade Lavender Fame, which is a purple blush, which I'm a tad scared about. And of course, I've got the main thing here, his Cotton Candy Queen eyeshadow palette. This is a pastel dream. Look at the packaging. It is adorable. This is a pastel paradise, like, so wonderful to look at. I have swatched it, that's why it's not looking so perfect, so I'll get on to that in a minute. But yeah, we're just gonna create some pastel goodness eyeshadow. We're gonna test out the blush. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts and opinions. I do have quite a few of Jeffree Star's palettes and yeah, I am a fan of his makeup, so I'm excited to try this. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on to testing. So it did come with this cute blue box. It is so stunning to look at. I love the cloud at the front with his logo. And then that's what the back looks like, so pretty. Oh, that reminds me of Disneyland. That literally reminds me of the Magic Kingdom castle. This color store is so pretty. I love the indents in the pans as well. So we've got his typical star logo and then we've got some baby rattles it looks like. We've got a tooth there. What's that in the deep purple? Oh, it's another tooth. I'll just show you over here my TikTok. I did do a little TikTok video on this palette of the swatches. So yeah, follow me over there if you want to see more inside of my makeup collection or anything. I'm going to start off with primer my eyelids first. I'm going to use the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base today. When I looked at his promo campaign video for this collection, I looked at the models, saw the eyeshadow looks. And this model wearing the eyeshadow palette really stood out to me. I want to do something like that and maybe add some gemstones. I haven't added gemstones in eyeshadow look in absolute ages. There is quite a good balance of shimmers to mattes in here. I did find that this formula is quite unique out of the palette. It's called Castle of Sprinkles. I say this is the most sparkly shade out of the whole palette. It does look like it's got some kind of film on top of it, but as you keep rubbing it in, it doesn't go, so I don't think it is a spray on type of thing, but it's super sparkly. I'm gonna go in this bright blue here. Just gonna use my MAC brush today. I like that's a mirror in here as well. I don't know if I'm gonna use that mirror though, so. That is bright. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't expect it to be that bright because it didn't look that bright on the promo photo, so. That is astonishing. I don't think I've got a bright blue that bright. I actually don't know if I've got a blue this bright in my eyeshadow collection. Like that's, that's, that's insane. This will just blend so diffusely on the edges because it's that type of shade. It's It's got no depth to it, so it's just gonna blend. So I'm gonna go into a purple. I'm gonna work up to the dark purple. So I'm gonna go into Ice Cream Drip first, which is this pastel purple here. And I'm just gonna see what that would look like next to the blue. Okay, so, ooh, that is lovely. I like that. I'm just gonna put it next to the blue, really. And just work my way through it. <gasps> that makes such a beautiful periwinkle shade. Those two shades together, love. I'm gonna go into a bright pink now. I'm gonna go into Pastel, pus pastel Pussy. Um, the shade here, I did not, ex I didn't expect that name. I hope I don't get copyright, but yeah. Wow. These pastels are spectacular. Like they're not those type of pastels that don't show up. You gotta keep building up. They, they show up with on, within one application. So I'm gonna go into the next pink pastel called Cupcake Royalty. So I'm just gonna go in and watch that beauty brush. I'm just gonna blend this on top of that other pink shade. I'm not gonna say it. Pastel P. Oh my God. My friend is gonna love this palette if she gets it. Miss Glitter, you will scream <laughs> if you have this palette because you're gonna love it. I am gonna go in that bright yellow now. This is called Nostalgic Taste. So I'm gonna go into a smaller brush. So yellow this is. 
And I'm going to take that right in the inner corner, just like that photo. Oh, wow. This is insane. I don't know whether to go into that dark purple just to like try it out a bit, put it in the outer corner. It is called Tasty Test Me. Um, I don't know if it'll ruin it though. We haven't got into any shimmers yet whatsoever. So it does pack on. I'm just seeing if it can go into that. I don't know if I want to use it. Maybe that purple I can use for a different sort of look, but right now I'm kind of happy just with the blue. Okay, I am going to test out some of these shimmers, so I'm going to lay down Brain Candy. Maybe this one, or shall I go with Gourmet Glory? Let's try this first. Gourmet Glory. Maybe I could go with my finger for this. Ooh. That is pretty. And then I may go into Frosting Fun. This pale pink. And then in a corner, laid on top of that. Just laid on top of those matte pinks. These work nice as a finishing shimmer. Like they're not very foily, they're more metallic looking, act as a finishing eyeshadow topper, I would say. Now, I might go into the inner corner with this yellow shade called Sugar, what's that say? Sugar Climax. Let's see what that would look like. Oh, that's bright. That is so bright. That has just re-intensified that yellow matte shade even more. It's just added more of a glow. Yeah, I'd definitely say these shimmers are more on the glowy side rather than a foily shimmer. I might add that on the brow bone as well. That makes a really nice brow highlight. But yeah, I'm just gonna go into Ice Cream Drip, that on the low lash line. I might go into Pink Licorice as well. That Pink Licorice would look nice with the Lollipop Throat shade. I'm very nervous for that blush because in my last video, I don't know which one it was, I was testing out the Rude Cosmetics Chuppa Chups Popcorn Party blush. It had like a lavender tone in it and I just wasn't much of much for lavenders on my skin tone so I may mix the blush with a pink blush just to balance it out a bit. Okay I've just done some light contour. I used the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand contour. I didn't want anything too bronzy for this because I am going to go into a lavender blush. I'm a bit scared about this because it's purple so I may probably want to mix it in with a different blush that has more of a pink to it. I will may go into this or my P. Louise cheek of it just to balance out the lavender because I don't want this to look too bruised, you know what I'm saying? So this is called the Magic Star Candy. I've got in shade Lavender Fame. So about the product, pigmented formula melts effortlessly into your skin giving you that perfect iconic hue of colour. It's blurring, long lasting, dries down to a gorgeous satin matte. Okay, so satin matte. I don't know whether to go with two dots or one dot. Let's just go with one. Okay, that was a big dot. Should we go with a brush? I'm just gonna use a brush. Ooh. Let's go with a sponge, see if we can tone that down a bit. Yeah, it's giving me a bruised look. I may need to go with some pink <laughs> with this. I just don't like a purple blush. On my skin tone it's like not moving from one spot i think that's me applying it with the applicator i'm just gonna go on the back of my hand and apply it that way on this side just trying to work out this product okay that blends out so much better okay so okay so the key with blending this product out i probably stick it on the back of your hand first then blend in that way and if you want more of a not so pigmented blush and go over in a sponge. I don't like this tone on me. I am going to go into a different blush. I'm going to go into my I Heart Revolution Watermelon Liquid Blush. It's got more of a pink to it. I just, it's personal preference. I think I want something more pink. Let's just try this and blend it out this way. 
I feel like I've totally ruined this now with that lavender blush. It blends out beautifully, by the way. I like the finish of it. I just don't like the color <laughs> as such. But mixed in with another blush, I think it's completely fine. But it does make me think I should have gone with a different shade because I'm having to blend it in with a different shade. I mean, you could probably use it as a eye base, but I just never do that. I'm gonna go and peel Louise's cheek a bit. I feel like it has traveled down my cheek though, that lavender mm. blush. So I'm hoping some powder can fix that. I'm glad I tried it though. Like I'm here to try, you know, different tones. But yeah, I do prefer mixing it in with a pink though. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera, put my lashes on. I don't know which lashes to go in. I might go with these. These are the Mango Lashes by Rouge Cosmetics. I don't think I want to wear an eyeliner with this look. Let me see what this looks a little bit like. I think this lash could work. Yeah, be right back. Okay, I've just thought of something. I might go into the palette to use as a highlighter. I should have gone into the palette actually to use as a blush. I'm gonna go into that bit of that pink and this pink licorice and use a bit of it as a blush. Oh yeah. So that lavender, I could totally blend it in with a pink blush like that. Okay, I'm going to go in a highlighter now. I'm going to use this Frosting Fawn. And just... Oh, yeah. Mmm. Frosting Fawn as a highlighter. Multi-purpose. I love that. I don't know if there was highlighters in this collection, but if you go in the palette, you clearly do not need a highlighter because you can use that Frosting Fawn shade as a highlighter on top of a pinky blush it looks stunning okay i'm gonna put those lashes on now so guys here's the completed makeup look using the jeffree star cotton candy queen palette and the lavender star magic liquid blush definitely out of the two my favorite has got to be the highlighter however i may need to pick another shade out of this blush because i really did like how this blush blended i find that this blush blends easier than my other blushes i have such as the made by mitchell blushes i just like the blendability of this i must say though it does blend better if you use it on the back of your hand than go in with a sponge rather than dabbing it with the doe foot i feel like with the doe foot especially on this side it left a bit of a mark of where I initially applied it so it did take a while to blend that out but overall I'm very happy with this I just don't like the tone of it I don't like this color on my skin tone and I've really just learned that recently so yeah it was a good experiment if you don't want that bruised look but you'd still want to have lavender blush do mix it in with a pink blush because it will balance it out and it'll take away that bruise effect I just think the blush looks really nice now just by adding that pink, adding a nice highlighter on top. It just pulls it together. And I don't think a lavender blush is too bad if you monochromatically match it up with a purple eyeshadow. I think that could pull it together, but I just, yeah, I just don't like this tone on my skin. I would much prefer it that it's used with another color, like a pink blush. For example, you could just use any of the pink blushes out of this palette to mix it over the lavender theme. Like pink licorice, that would look so nice blended in with this. So yeah, I feel like you can use this on your lips as well. I forgot, I can't remember if this is a multi-use product, but you maybe, you may could use it as an eye base, but I just never do that. I never use eye bases. I feel like the only eye base I have is the Made by Mitchell color cases. And with that, I've learned that I just much prefer to use them as a colour on the waterline instead of an eye base. I don't know, I just find them too messy. Speaking of colour case, I did actually go in one of the colours today. I used the colourful one. I went in with the Lay Low shade and I just popped that on the low lash line. Overall, I'm happy with this palette and would I recommend it? If you are a pastel person, definitely. But yeah, I'm going to go now. If you did like today's video, do give a thumbs up to my channel out. And of course, if you want to see more makeup vids from me, then hit subscribe button down below. Below. and yeah hope you have a lovely day now or every time you're watching this and i shall see you in the next one bye